Okay, today I'm going to uh, do a little video on my uh, 4215BN controller. I've had a few questions or emails asking me is my tracking very slow to respond and I've watched other videos where people say that it, sometimes it takes like five minutes for the MPPT tracking to kick in to get the maximum power point. So I haven't had an issue with that and I want to demonstrate how how my system's responding. So we're in my uh, solar panel software here that I have done a video on previously showing you how to install that and uh, we're going to go through some procedures here. So first thing we need to do is I want to show you what my parameters are set at. Because right now my system is set up in boost. So what's happening is the charge controller is maintaining the battery at 14.4 volts or thereabouts and it'll do that for two hours in the boost mode and then it drops down to uh, the 13 the floats float mode which is where is it up here float so it'll drop it down to 13.8 so it maintains it at 14.4 for two hours and then goes into float and maintains the batteries at 13.8 so that's what my charts on the software are showing that right now we're in the boost mode so it's maintaining it at 14.4 okay so first thing we're gonna do is go over a few things so you can see what's going on uh, my array currently is putting out 1.23 amps at 37 volts or 45.9 watts the battery is sitting at 14.35. It's taking in 3.22 amps to maintain it at the 14.4 or thereabouts that the charge controller does in the boost mode. Right now my load status is off. I do have something wired in, a couple of lights that I'm going to turn on to show you how long it takes the MPPT, the maximum power point tracking, to respond. So here we go. We go over here. There is a delayed reaction when I click the on. It, it, it's not an instantaneous on. So I'll tell you when the lights come on. And then you'll be able to note down here the blue line right here on the bottom. That's my load. Right now it's no load. So it's zero. That'll jump up. So And this red line right here is the wattage that my solar array is using right now so right now we're right at 50 which it says up here 46.38 okay hopefully that was clear <laughs> okay let's turn it on and see what happens okay the light has now come on there is still a delay because the load status is showing off even though it's on so I'll wait for that to show on okay now it's on so my two lights are drawing 93 watts and 14.29 volts or 6.51 amps and also I want to point out up here that the software the quickest that you can get it to update is every 10 seconds so there's a 10 second pause between updates okay so as you saw let's double let's right click on this chart right here and show it in a new form maximize it and go down to power so you saw that I instantly I turned on my lights here boom up goes the uh, wattage of my uh, load at the same time boom up goes the wattage of my solar array so now let's minimize that so now my rays jumped to 147 watts when it was at, down here at 50 watts remember that so it's an instantaneously jumps up but not being satisfied with that I want to put a heavier load on that now the I, I don't know how much the uh, charge controller 
how many amperage it has but there is a limited on the uh, load side so what I've done I have my magnum power inverter connected directly to my battery bank and I'm gonna gonna turn on a space heater that I have it's 600 watts so that's not gonna show up here on the load but you'll be able to see I'm gonna tell you when I turn it on and you'll be able to see the uh, jump up on my wattage let's go to the uh, on to that okay so here we go one two three on okay it's now on that was instantaneously now my uh, solar panels are putting out between 200 and 250 watts let's see what they're putting out minimize that 278 watts that's instantaneous you know I, I so I can't really understand where people are saying that it takes too long to uh, find the maximum power point tracking so right now my ray the solar panels are putting out 9 amps, 10 amps, 30 volts. The maximum power point is converting that 10 amps to 17 amps. And the battery is at 13.49 volts. So as you can see, it's really, there is no delay at all in that. Okay, so I'm now, now we're up to 324 watts and climbing bear in mind that the heater that I have on is 600 watts you might have heard my uh, my uh, magnum inverter the fan kick on so I'm going to now turn that heater off okay the heater is now off let's see what happens okay still putting out 326 watts 18 amps converting 10 amps from the panels to 18 amps it's tracking very well so what it's trying to do now is taking that 326 watts bringing the voltage back up to 14.4 which is my boost voltage and I'm gonna let this run until it gets it up to 14.4 I'm gonna go ahead and turn the load off boom lights off so there's no load so it gets up there to 14.4 quickly and I'm gonna let you see that at 329 watts it shouldn't take too long to get to the 14.4 <coughs> I have 900 watts of panels up on my uh, roof, but today is got floating clouds by. And we've also uh, it is 1:38 in the afternoon, which means I got a little bit of sh shade from the trees. As you, if you watch my previous videos, I'm surrounded by oak trees, so very only a couple hours a day do I get the full direct sunlight on my panels. So from my 900 watts of panels, I'm only getting 327 watts of uh, power. Let's go. I want to have a look at my other chart here. Okay, so you can see where I turn my load off. Okay. Let's see the voltage, the wattage is dropping. taking a big drop there it's gone down to 239 volts the reason that has gone down we can look at find out well why did it drop so much right there well okay my battery voltage up here has reached the 14.4 volts that's the boost voltage so it doesn't need it's going to drop the wattage enough to just maintain it at 14.4 so it's kind of settling out here It'll get down to 14.4 or thereabouts, and it'll sit there for two hours. Then it'll drop down to your float voltage. But I just wanted to demonstrate. I'm going to do it, go through it again here in a second. Just let that kind of settle down. And I'm going to turn that heater back on. And once again, I'll say one, two, three on. And when I turn it on, we can watch the, uh, watch this watch this over here the array watts what watch that jump up okay you ready 
one, two, three, on. Okay, it's on. Bear in mind, I got the 10 seconds, so within 10 seconds, it's going to give me a more accurate update. 257. See how it jumps up there? Boom. I have no five minute delay, and I just wanted to show you guys. I'm not saying that other people aren't having an issue with it, but as I just demonstrated, I am not having any issues with it, and I am super happy with my uh, 4215BN. Now, occasionally, what will happen is if I let this run for a while, let me turn that heater off. There's no sense in killing my batteries. Uh, off. Okay. Occasionally, it will reset. You know, it'll drop, the wattage will drop down to zero, and it'll recalibrate and go back up to where it needs to be. That, I've never seen it take more than, say, 30 seconds for that to do its recalibration. And I'm going to let this run for a while just in case it wants to do it. And if it does do it, uh, I'll include it in the video. But it doesn't happen all the time. I mean, it very rarely happens. But since I put a big load on it, an instantaneous big load, and cut off the instantaneous big load, I'm hoping that it might just show that. And if it does show that, I'll include it in this video and show you how long it takes to do the reset. I don't know how to force it to do that reset. So uh, here we go. Again, we see the uh, wattage dropping, but if you look at the battery voltage, that's because the voltage is up to 14.7, which is well above the 14.4 boost voltage. So it's just settling down the wattage to maintain it at 14.4. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to reset, but I guess I'll have to take my word for that on the reset. It's it's not long. You can see that instantaneously I turn a load on and instantaneously it jumps up and increases the wattage from the solar panels. And uh, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for listening.